Okay, good morning guys. The Japanese live stream for the collab is still going on and I woke up very late, but I slept in because I was like not feeling in this cold November day. So I was just I just said I'm going to sleep in, but I was going to cover the stream or the characters at least for the banner when I wake up, which I'm doing as of right now. So the stream for Atelier Ryza is now live, so if you guys can see from my screen as of right now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the ships that are going to be in this collab. Starting off, Ryza, our beloved protagonist in the Atelier Ryza series. So, that's the first one. Design-wise, actually not that bad. I think the splash art to the Ryza is actually really, really good. This right here is actually really solid. I am a big fan of that uh, for obvious reasons, but <laughs> big fan of that. So that is, uh, that's very, very good there. Not bad though, not bad at all. I think this art is actually really nice though. Face is really, really good. I like it a lot. Next, we have Claudia Valence. So the next character on our list of right here. Oh, by the way, guys. Never played Atelier Ryza. I was going to get to it eventually, but never played it. I don't know when I'm going to start playing the games, but maybe in the future. It's like one of the bit. It's like one of the very few big JRPG franchises I've never touched yet. Like I played pretty much all the big ones except probably Atelier Ryza, which is not that big, but like still decently big. Anyways, though, uh, design wise, we have this like theme going on where like. We have one stocking here, or like one pants legging here. This is actually a theme or something. Anyways, though, blondies, we can't go wrong with blondes, guys. So, definitely a fan of that. Green eyes as well, too. So, character design wise, like it a lot. Art wise, actually like it a lot as well, too. <laughs> definitely like this one. I don't, know what, I don't know much about her personality, though, but maybe when I play the games, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Who knows? Next character we have here is Patricia Albaheim. Oh, by the way, guys, the first one is going to be a light cruiser, rises of light cruiser. Um, Claudia is going to be a light carrier. And then um, Patricia Albaheim is going to be a battleship. So once again, I don't know much about this character, but... Now, she doesn't look like a cunny. I don't think she is. I never played a game, so I don't know, but I think she's like a normal size girl. But if she is, though... I'm not saying I'm not interested. I'm just saying that's very curious. Very, very curious. I'm not curious. But Battleship wise, I think I don't know. I feel like she's not a battle. I feel like she's a destroyer. This is me being like stereotypical, I guess, or judging my uh, character design, but she doesn't look like a battleship to me. But hey, whatever works, man, whatever works. Next, we have the first uh, SR, the elite in the game, is going to be Leela the Cyrus. I think I got that right. Leela the Cyrus. Uh, hopefully, I, I think I got that right. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, though. Um, heavy Cruiser. Interest. Oh, actually, I like this design actually a lot. Um, I think she has two different eye colors. So, Heterochromiac. Um, I like the bangs covering the eyes. It's actually really interesting. It has, like... I've never seen like hair fold that way covering eyes before like a uh, quilt kind of like it weaves in and out or under and over like the outfit as well too very thick on the thighs so i think most of the characters here are pretty uh, thick on the thighs so actually not bad not bad at all that last no not last character second to last character is the carrier um seri gloss i think I think this is Siri. If I mix these up, I apologize, but Siri Gloss um, kind of has the Eula headband aspect going on as of right here, but again, another hetero heterochromiac, so it can't be Eula. Actually, I think a lot of these characters are heterochromiacs. I think heterochromiacs are the ones that are villains in the game, right? Because we have the last three are basically heterochromiacs. So. Very thick on the thighs, though, so can't, <laughs> can't go wrong there. I can't go wrong there for by all means. Heavy, heavy thick on the thighs right there. And lastly, um, 
Kala, I believe her name is. Now, this is very interesting because she's the first non-UR large cruiser in the game. She is a large cruiser, so this is actually very, very interesting. I like the character design by all means. It has the little, like, antlers going on or whatever, the horns. It's actually really cool. So, honestly, if if people, if new players were to get into this game, probably this ship would probably be, like, the big one. Luckily, I think it's the milestone reward, so it's not that difficult to get. Or a shop reward, so. Actually, pretty good. Like the character design, like the large cruiser aspect, very, very nice. In this event, we have... So, Atelier Ryza Club or, is probably going to be based around the game similarly, where you got to collect mats and material to, like, make um, upgrades and stuff. Not sure exactly how that's going to work. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how they go ahead and do this event. I can't read Japanese, though, so I can't really give too much details about these um, features. But if you guys have played Atelier Ryza and you're aware of, like, the collecting aspect of the game, it's probably similar to that. Except in a Azure Lane gotcha format for an event. So that's what I can assume. Uh rewards here. Nothing you no no unique you, you uh blech, no unique gear this time around, so unlucky. Atelier Rise of Three is on here as well too. Wow, that was only two, it's actually three. That's actually crazy. Um gear skins here. Now the best ones I'd probably say Oh, I like this one a lot. This one's actually really good. I think these are like magic stones or whatever. I like this one a lot. The little prismatic stone. Very, very cool there. Oh, the dorm is so nice too. It's just like the game as well. Where like inside Rise's home. Oh my god. This dorm is actually really nice. I like it. In the mini game. Does that remind me of like Bomberman? I wonder if it is like Bomberman. I think it is like Bomberman though. Actually, I might... Ooh. I usually skip mini games, but this mini game is actually really cool. I might get into it. it actually, looks enticing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now we got skins. I'm like, definitely, definitely. We're, I'm not gonna get banned for this. Oh my, dude, that skin is crazy. Jesus, bro. Guys, it's time to start playing a new JRPG. Tell you, Ryza. Here we go. Jesus, man. Oh my God. Dude, the the right side of her nightgown is already like falling. Okay, dude, calm down. Jesus, that's that one is crazy. Oh my lord. Now Claudia's uh skin is also very nice as well too. We have a very nice close up on the assets that are in this picture. By all means, that's crazy. Now in this picture right here for Patricia, she reminds me of a little bit of like Pola. I don't know why, but that kind of does. Oh, we have pajama theme, I think, or nightgown theme. Interesting. I like the skin. I like the skin. It's just I'm kind of skeptical, but I think she's. I think she's at least not a cunny, so we'll go with it. Woo! Whoa! Jesus! That's wow. That's actually a really crazy skin. This is for uh, this is for Lilo, right? I think this Lilo skin, or maybe I'm trolling. Bro, those things are wide. Oh my god. Those are some wide hips right there. Jesus. Oh, God. All right, now, this one definitely looks like Eula right here. Except, again, heterochromiac, so it's not exactly, but... Guys, these are good skins. For the love of God, this is what I'm talking about. Azure Lane needs more skins like these. I swear. This is all we need. I know they had this theme going for one of the Russian events, but we need to bring this back. Pajama, nightgown theme? Yes. For the love of God, bring this... We need more of this, less maids. We need more sleeping gown stuff and less maids and swimsuits. I'm tired of them. But this, though, I'm not. This is very, very good. And uh, I think these are like the other skins right here for uh, other ships in the game. So it's like Elbing here. Bremerton, always one of, the fan, one of the fan favorites in the game. Here are the overall skins. Here are the other sh uh, ship skins. Then the collab stuff right here. Then upcoming battle pass. And I think this is the meta right here. The meta? Or no, this is the meta from the battle pass, I think. This is um Fortune? Yeah, Fortune. Right, so that covers the stream. I'm actually looking forward to the skins. Holy crap. <laughs> those skins are good. Man, those skins are good. So actually, not a bad collab by all means. There's some interesting ships this time around. Usually the, the collab ships are pretty good. Or at least above average. There is a large cruiser in this uh 
cool as well too, so probably gonna be really good for new players by all means, because the large cruiser, very tanky, right? Free 7,000 HP Vanguard, can't go wrong with that. Nice storm, gear skins are nice too, the mini game is great, and then I already talked about skins, so. That covers the event, um, I'll go ahead and post this Imgur link into the description for you guys. Thank you whoever made this by the way, I don't know who it is, but thank you. Um, yeah, that covers the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, see you guys in the next video.